great. So next thing I want to show you is something regarding the database itself. Let's go ahead and add another remote. And I'm going to go back here and remember we added a file path here, a file name key for this data store configuration. Well, I discovered something interesting here. Let's go and look for the application tab and then inside of the indexed DB we should see our database. Um, it's currently not loading so what I found is that you need to close your application and open it up again. Wait for the app to actually load and then bring up the dev tools. Otherwise this index DB here is not being loaded for some reason. I'll have to investigate more about that. But okay, so if you open up this localhost 8080 here, you'll see the values that we have been storing so far. So let me make this bigger and more readable a little bit at least. So you'll notice here that indexdb engine will have a key value pair combination of records and you'll notice here that the key is the actual file path that was computed by our code back there. So up until the default folder is where nwjs will give us the app path and then we appended the remotes.db to that string right so this is going to be the key and then the value are the two the two documents that we created through our interface our user interface right but this is not quite what we wanted to happen we didn't want to use the indexed db engine um, which is on the browser to store our remotes. We actually wanted to have this DB file outside 